Isla Bryson is facing a lengthy spell behind bars, but where she should be jailed has been the focus of a debate. Bryson, a trans woman, had been convicted of raping two women while she was living as a man. But during trial, Bryson decided to transition from male to female. After being found guilty, Bryson was brought here to Conton Vale, Scotland's only female-only prison, to be put in a segregation unit while awaiting sentencing. But her presence here caused a political row with concerns raised at Holyrood, Scotland's first minister, saying the prisoner would not be held here short or long term after she was questioned by the Scottish Conservative leader. Now, we have warned for months that violent criminals, just like the sex offender, the absolute beast we are discussing today, would try to exploit loopholes in the law and attack and traumatise women. The problem, as we have said all along, is not trans people. The problem is violent offenders. There is no automatic right uh, for any trans woman to serve their sentence in a female prison. That is subject to robust risk assessment. Uh, we must always be careful when we're having uh, these exchanges that we do not, even inadvertently, uh, suggest that somehow trans women uh, pose an inherent threat uh, to women. Predatory men, as has always been the case, are the risk to women. This debate about where Bryson should spend her sentence comes at a time after the Scottish Parliament passed a bill making it easier for a trans person to legally change their sex, though the UK government then decided to block that. Ministers here, though, keen to stress that that legislation is not connected to this case. The Scottish Prison Service says the decision on where trans prisoners are housed is taken on a case-by-case -case basis. After reviewing that, Isla Bryson is being transferred to a men's prison. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.